Good morning. Welcome to the 17th. No, it's not. It's 8.17 a.m. Welcome to the 26th of August. Um, today is the day that uh, President Obama comes to Kent State University to make a speech or whatever. Uh, I couldn't get a ticket for it along with about 200,000 other people. Um, so I'm downtown Kent right now. He didn't come until 3.30 and it's 8.17. And the only difference I can see so far is there's about 20% more traffic and it's taken me 10% longer to get here. I got behind every single truck on the way here that would go 30 miles an hour and practically stop uphill. I don't know what they're carrying, lead or what, that they can't go the speed limit. But you know my thoughts on that. So now I'm here. I don't see any Secret Service and police yet, but I'm sure they are prowling like crazy. So uh, if I'm out around campus during the day and I see anything crazy, I'll film it. Tons of people or just cops on the roof or something. That's what those clips will be. Um, it's exciting. It's interesting. I, I get out of class at 2 and he starts speaking at 3.30 or the doors open at 3.30. So he starts speaking at like 9 or however that would work. So I'm really hoping I can get out to the car and just get out of here in a timely fashion because I don't want to spend my afternoon just parked somewhere in traffic. So, I need the buses to be running, and I need traffic to be open in some way so I can just get the hell out of here. Even if that means, if you know the geography around here, taking 261 to Telmed Circle and 91 to Hudson. I will do that if I have to. It's way out of the way, but it'll work, and they're good roads. And that is an interesting bike stand. Check that out. And this thing's driving me nuts on wet roads. Look at that. Traction comes on at 2,000 RPM. This is insane. minutes later. <laughs> Obama comes to town and everybody gets excited by crashing their Chevys and those things and things get cocked. It is 2.06 p.m. Doors open to that place at 3.30. It's been pissing rain all afternoon, 63 degrees. Um, I have 21 miles range, so I hope it doesn't take me long to get home because we are, yeah, we're not doing so hot. There are cops everywhere. There's Secret Service guys on the roof. There's guys in black suits and glasses and things in the air. It's awesome. Um, he gets here at like 5.30, I said the doors open at 3.30, it's only two, a few minutes after two now. So I am glad to be able to get out of here quickly. Uh, traffic here looks fine, there's no problem getting to the car, there's not that many people on the part of campus I was on. But the lines, I, I filmed, what I, the clips that you just saw before I started this one, uh, those clips were from this afternoon, um, well actually this morning about 10:30, 11 o'clock, there were that many people lined up. If you know Kent State, from pretty much the library all the way to Van Dusen Hall, that far, uh, people stayed overnight. So it's getting crazy for sure, and I'm on my way out of here. I'll let you know if I hit any terrible traffic. Let the traffic malfeasance begin. We are at Midway Drive and uh, 59 East Main Street. There's people everywhere. It's actually not that much worse than usual, but down there I'm seeing it is definitely worse than usual. I just hope it's not that much worse than usual. Well, I, I don't know what to tell you, but I just saw an E60 M5 followed by a E90 M3, the four-door, and then an E92 M3. So I guess the BMW M boys are out driving around Kent, all three of them in a row, going east. I'm going west on 59 downtown. Uh, all black, looked really nice though. And now I don't really see anything else. We got a Volvo S80 or S40 or whatever, S60, I was close. And a Sonata and a Chrysler uh, E350. Just kidding, Johnny. It's time. It's about uh, 3.30, I think. And it is finally time to clean this thing up after a month. Andrew, Andrew, yeah, I saw your comment. I know yours is clean. Yeah, it's in the garage under a diaper, right? 
Well, mine's not. Mine's been out in the world and it's probably been a thousand miles since it's been cleaned. So we've got leaves on the front and just shit everywhere big times. And I, I was trying to show you that yesterday and everything. It's just disgusting. If I do that, oh, it's, it's darker than what the camera picks up. But all right, let's get to work. That is grotesque. Watching a video uh, in here, it's 9.57. This is a 2000, or a 2013 650i Grand Coupe M Sport from Saab Kyle 04. We got Bobby texting here. And the last clip I filmed was in the garage talking about how I'm gonna wash the car, let's do this. I'll film it, I didn't film it. But I worked from 3.30 until 8.46, yes. Yes, almost six hours. Five hours, I don't know, something minutes. And check this out. We are left with an immaculately clean E39 M5. It is washed, it is waxed, it is sealed. The wheels, exhaust, everything has been perfectly detailed. I don't want to drive it until spring now. It's perfect. Andrew, I may, I may even have you beaten here, except it's got to go out tomorrow. So it's, it's not supposed to rain, but it's going to get dusty. But it looks really good, it feels really good. My back is killing me, I can barely walk. But it's done and I'm happy with it. And look at that shine. That's gorgeous. Oh, I could lay on that with no clothes on. So there goes my afternoon. But the good news is I'm left with that. And the wheels are actually pretty now. Only problem is I didn't go out and drive it after I washed it, so the rotors are a little rusty, which I don't like to leave on there. That surface rust on the rotors after you get them wet. I don't like to leave that on there overnight, but I'm not taking it out right now because the roads are still covered in uh, rain and I, I'm not gonna undo all of my work. So I did some before and after photos, all taken on the iPhone 5 of this. I'll try to remember to put them in this vlog maybe somewhere in the next 30 seconds. Um, problem being, well, the, the after photos were way later and it was much darker. And the iPhone 5, I think, did a really good job in low light. It's a little bit more blurry, but it's so much better than the 4S would have been. So here are those photos. Anyhow, I came in the house to the smell of freshly baked cookies, and there they are. There's four left. I may just take them all. Uh, what else? Five videos in the WLP. One of them's halfway done. There's Bobby again. It's that uh, six series review. Saab Cal 04, if you guys don't know, one of the best reviewers on YouTube, in addition to Rosenthal Automotive. Uh, many of you probably watch the Drive channel. What is your favorite show on the Drive channel? For me, it is most definitely Live and Let Drive due to Alex Roy hosting. My least favorite are the two that I rarely watch, the one with Leo Parente, whatever the, the track side is, or the, the one about bikes I don't really care about. Uh, I really do not like Chris Harris. However, I, I have watched some of his videos. And the other guy, Matt Farah, he's pretty cool. I watch all his stuff. So leave me some comments on your thoughts on Drive down below.